How I don't fall into the ego trap um, or how I've worked to avoid it. I mean, don't get me wrong, in the very beginning of my journey, I'm sure I did fall a little bit into the ego trap. I mean, I started off very, very uh, quickly to make a link and people were like, oh my God, he's amazing, he's wonderful, da 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 da. And I didn't know how to handle that necessarily. But to avoid that, we have to first start with the recognition that this work that we do as mediums is not done from us it's not by us it's not through the you know mediums you know intelligence or skill or whatever it's not coming from the medium it's actually a team and the only reason that mediums can do any of this work is because the spirit world is helping them so what we as mediums do is we learn how to become passive receptive and get out of the way Without the presence of spirit deciding to come and help you and support you through this process, it wouldn't work. And so it always kind of makes me laugh when people are like, oh, yes, I'm a great, fabulous medium. And oh, my gosh, look at what I can do. It would not even happen if the spirit world did not support you and help you and do that work for you. So having that awareness that really it's not happening from me, but it's passing through me, I think helps to keep us more grounded. I would also say, recognizing that this work is a service. This is a service that we're doing for other people. It's not about us becoming famous. It's not about us having a bunch of followers. It's not about us, you know, getting that recognition and accolade. If that's the underlying motivation, we're already starting off on a bad foot. The desire to do this work should come from a desire to help people. Oftentimes people come to mediumship when they have experienced grief and loss. And if you've been touched by that experience, then you will know the pain and the challenge and the, the, the feeling of that loss, like the phone has been hung up on that person for forever. There's no way for me to contact it. The amazing thing that the miracle really that the, this the medium can do is they can pick up that phone temporarily and say, hey, this person is still here. And the amount of healing or, or the amount of impact that that can have on someone's healing journey is incredible. And so we really need to recognize that there is an aspect of service that is involved. And then on top of that, I would also say there is an honoring and a respect for the people who are your team in the spirit. So when you recognize that actually it's them doing all of the work and I'm just kind of getting out of the way the best that I can, the more that you're able to uh, kind of take yourself out of it, because that's what mediumship is all about. It's getting me out of it so that more of them can come through. So it's kind of honoring and realizing it's them that's doing it. The more that I have that recognition, it's easier for me to not sort of take the mantle of you know the best and you know all of that sort of thing i think lastly i would say too is um i have learned to take both the praise and the criticism with equal measure so whether you know i do an amazing reading people are like holy moly that was incredible and like wow you got all those details um or they say wow that was that was poop <laughs> um either way i think if you can just see those equally and say, thank you so much for your thoughts and I'm glad it was helpful. And thank you so much for your thoughts. I'll keep that in mind. We, if we just keep it at that same level, it never inflates our ego. 